emerging an alternative to soil applied nitrogen. Um, for years we've tried putting foliar nitrogen onto crops and um, during the, the early growth stages you can put 5, 10, 15 litres of um, many different sources of nitrogen material on the crop and still you run the risk of scorch. Any kind of quantity of nitrogen applied to leaves causes scorch. Look at the, the issues we get with dribble bars when we're applying liquid nitrogen to the soil and some material ends up on the plant. It's not supposed to. Dribble bars produce high energy big droplets that either run off or bounce uh, but sometimes if the crop isn't properly waxed up they stick and we end up with brown lines down the field. We can put large amounts of nitrogen uh, on milling wheat um, 200 litres of urea is common at the sort of milky cheesy ripe stage um, but A that's inefficient because the crop's already heading for senescence and we only get literally 25% of that 40 kilos of nitrogen actually absorbed by the plant and used um, and B the plant is less, less prone to scorch because it's already heading for senescence it's already shutting down but we do get scorched with those treatments over the last 10 years, uh, Micromix has been developing its own form of liquid foliar nitrogen. It was originally developed as multi-N to provide that protein boost to milling wheat. Uh, instead of putting 40 kilos of N on as um, liquid, 200 litres of 20% liquid urea with or without ammonium sulphate, we produced something rather more efficient. Um, it is, in fact, as a independently assessed, 85% efficient at turning nitrogen in the spray tank into um, amino acids and proteins in the plant, which is um, better than the 25% we get from liquid urea.